Hey guys, Ken Scott, Senior U.S. Immigration Law Intelligence Analyst with www.usentrywaiverservices.com, and we get you guys cleared to enter the USA. So today is October 2027, uh, 2023. So make sure, let's see. Yeah, that's probably looks good. So brother always got to be aware of how he looks on camera. I'm going to put that aside for now. So guys, um, today's video is going to be on five, five, um, what did I call it? Five tips to getting your U.S. entry waiver approved, or you could say approved or five tips for finding the best U.S. entry waiver provider. But you know what? Let's go with five tips on finding the best U.S. entry waiver provider. You make a note of that. Five tips for finding the best U.S. entry waiver provider. We're going to do another video on five tips to get your waiver successfully approved. Let's go with this one for now. Now, you guys need to be aware that there are a lot of sharks in this business, be it a lawyer or a discount waiver company. Both are equally terrible, I have to say. There's a, again, there's a lot of sharks in this business. We're not sharks, and you got a lot of crooks in this business as well. In fact, there's more crooks in this business than less, especially that Ontario region, but there's a few out here in BC. So, Let's get right into it. The first thing, guys, is your waiver provider. You need to make sure they're completely transparent with you. I mean, that's common sense 101. And none of this stuff is advice. This is all pure common sense. Give you guys an example. You guys know how transparent I am. So I went to one more Thai restaurant right over right there. You guys cannot see it. And I ordered this this meal. I don't want to spill on the floor. You guys can kind of see that. You guys say, Ken, why are you showing me what you what you have for lunch? Well, it reflects on what I just said about being transparent. You need to make sure your waiver provider is completely transparent. So again, let's go. So the first one, transparency. Pardon my atrocious handwriting, but transparency. Basically, in simple terms, you guys need to be a, make sure that your waiver provider is being straight up with you. No bullshit. He's not, he or she, he's not bullshitting you, not telling you what you want to hear. He's being completely transparent. Now, one of the things we do, if we think your waiver application will not get approved, it's going to be denied, we will turn you away. We'll say, you know what? Come back in, I don't know, three years, five years. I told a gentleman today, Come back in 10 years, 2032. And I won't go into the details why, because if I do, the discount waiver companies will um pick up on that, try to reverse engineer it to do anything to keep their lights on. So we told one guy today, come back in 10 years. Because I said there's no way on this earth you're going to be approved. And he said that he will contact us in 10 years. I believe it because we've done that before in the past. And those people, they kept their word, they contacted us again and said, Oh. Surprised as fuck, in all honesty. So transparency, guys, is key. They need to be completely transparent and honest with you guys. If And the thing is, a lot of them, the discount waiver companies, lawyers, they don't know if your stuff's going to go through or not. We do, because we have access to the same regulations, the same materials that CBP and American government uses. Me being a former federal officer and former law enforcement officer in Washington State, for me and my other guys, it's different because... We still have contacts within the system where we can get access to, uh, let's just say, the latest material that a lot of other people cannot, especially these waiver providers. Transparency is key. And one thing you guys know, you guys have been to the Surrey office. It's been it's been a large number of you, I would just say, over the years have came here. You guys know how transparent we are in person and on the phone. We've shown some of you guys the actual regulations where things are stated in the regulations 
and why CBP does what they do. So we've already proven ourselves. So for us, it's a no brainer. Second thing is knowledge level. This kind of this kind of coincides or connects to transparency. You got to make sure who you decide to retain, prepare your U.S. entry waiver application, know what the fuck they're doing. What's the point in hiring someone who has no clue what they're doing and they're just trying to offer you a dirt cheap price? And you say, oh, wow, it's a good price. And it's a reason why it's a dirt cheap price. So but if you guys deal with these dollar store night market type places and you get screwed, there's only one person to blame. It's the person looking back at you in the mirror. Because if the price is too low, there's something wrong. So you got to have the knowledge level. And again, with us, it's different. Having worked for the American government in the past, having access to the same um, material that they have, that they use, for us, it's different. That's why we are, as of again, I've said this before, as of 2021, what time is it? As of 2021, we are still at a 100% success rate. Prior to 2021, it was 99 the lowest it ever went down to was 98%. So we learned from that. We've tweaked it. We've basically, we've assimilated. If any of you guys watch Star Trek Borg, we've all assimilated that stuff. So now we're back at the 100% success rate. But again, if we think it won't go through, we'll say, you know what? Come back. Because we do the same screening and analysis that CBP will use uh, to adjudicate your case. So when you give us a shot, we'll ask you a few questions. Uh, we want to know what happened. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Once you tell us, then we know which direction it's likely going to go. Three, trust and honesty. Look, my writing is just terrible. Oh. That uh, you know what that ties in to knowledge level and especially transparency. You got to trust your waiver provider. You guys, some of you guys, I know are clueless, but you guys that have your gut, you need to listen to what your gut says. If your gut says it doesn't sound right, it's probably not right. And if your gut even said, you know what, uh, I like Ken and his guys, but their fees are too high, and I'm going to use Batman's pardons and waivers. Hey, that is your choice, your prerogative, and if you know. A broken clock is, is is correct two times a day, but you get screwed, which more likely will happen, especially if you, if you have a complex stuff, then that's a different story. I don't mean the stuff like um, you stole a car at 19, now you're 40, or something like that. That's different. I mean, Beavis and Butthead could put that together and get you cleared. But if you got like trafficking, be it small or heavy, extortion, <laughs> driving by, home invasions, you know, with the shotgun, the armed robbery, but everyone on the ground, on the ground now. So that kind of stuff has to be prepared a certain kind of way in order for it to be approved. You just can't just to get be approved. Uh, no, that's not going to fly. So, well, yeah, trust and honesty. So your provider, you have to make sure they're being honest with you. Again, one of the ways we do it is we show you guys the actual manuals, the regulations, and the statutes and show where things are listed and why we do what we do. These other places cannot do that because they either don't know or if they do know or if they happen to know where to find it, they don't know how to do the analyses properly. They just don't know. They just... So, and if the, regarding trust or honesty, if you don't believe what he's saying, you guys need to run because he's looking to screw you guys. And again, Ontario's full of those places. These discount waiver companies need shocks and lawyers and lawyers and maybe even a few that do these uh, videos. You guys got to watch. If they start begging for your business and uh, doing what they call um, fall, let me give a quick example. I just contact this this waiver company, uh, Pens Waivers Inc. Blah blah blah. Just out of curiosity, I say, okay, what, what what can you do? Blah, blah, okay, thank you, bye. If Penn's Waiver Company, if they keep hounding me by email, phone call, do you want to do it? Guys, run. Because common sense says, why is this company hounding me to sign up? And I don't want to hear any bullshit about the economy, blah, blah, blah. That's BS. Because the economy is not hurting us. 
and it never did hurt. Even during COVID, it didn't hurt us. So it's not the economy. It's whom you picked to be your provider. And that includes whether it's a discount waiver company or a lawyer. So again, you guys, if he's hounding you, there's a reason why he's hounding you because he has no business and he doesn't give a flying flamingo if you get approved or not. We do because again, we want to keep our 100% success rate. If nothing else, just that. And what's this, this time looking? Okay. okay. And oh, always follow up with your waiver provider. Guys, always follow up with this provider. Now, one of the things we get, it just astounds me. We get people to come in, they retain us. We're putting this stuff together. The way we do it, we put it together, we put it in a folder. And once it's, the thing is, we get it done fairly quickly for the most part. I mean, each case is different, but fairly quickly. And then we just wait. Now, if this person right here takes five months to get us the stuff we need and they ring us a bell and they say, well, Ken, what's going on with my waiver? Um, why is it taking so long? I said, oh, let me check. Oh, I've been, well, we've been waiting on you since, uh, this is what, October. We've been waiting on you since uh, uh, April or May. Like, oh, yeah, how can we finish it? I'll do a, a simulation. John, John, how can we finish your waiver case? You haven't given, given us the other items from the list that we need. He says, oh, yeah, yeah, well, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Or if he calls in small attitude or whatever, I'll say, well, again, John, how can we finish it if you don't give us what we need? You don't give us what we, what we need. Logic dictates it's not going to get done. I mean, it's common sense. That's usually 99% of the time when they call. There's always that one odd chance something we miss. And you got a better chance of hitting law or 649 than us missing something. But when it's that one time out of 100,000, then yeah, then we say, oh, you know, sorry, blah, blah, blah. But most of the time, it's people who retain us. They don't get us the stuff we need. They take forever. And that's what happens. I mean, we got one legacy guy from was it, uh, 01, 02. <laughs> We're still waiting on him. And I, I know it makes no sense whatsoever. So always follow up with your waiver provider. And watch out for the ones who keep saying, oh, I need more money for this and keep delaying. I need more money for this. Delaying. That's straight bullshit. They're trying to suck money from you guys. You guys fall for it. The person looking back in the mirror is to blame fees this is pro i saved the best for last you guys fees you guys gotta stop focusing so much on goddamn fees you need to focus on knowledge level transparency trust this should be the last thing because the thing is these discount waiver companies will charge you uh, night market type prices, but you don't get anything. But again, if you stole the car at 19 on your 40, that's different. But if you were moving product and selling, uh, or I say selling dillies or whatever, there's no way on this planet that someone's going to charge you dirt cheap that's going to go through. It's not going to happen. There's certain things they look for at the headquarters that they need in order to approve these waiver cases. You guys need to be aware of that. Even with these lawyers, some of these lawyers charge dirt cheap prices because they don't know a lot of them. They don't know what the fuck they're doing, especially around here, this area, because everyone knows each other. And I won't say any names, but if the price is too low, even from a lawyer, there's a problem. And I know why they do it. They say, well, they would say, well, Ken, fuck, no one wants to pay such and such. No one won't pay, blah, 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 blah. That's bullshit. They don't know how to get the money because people will pay those fees. And I know, I know for a fact they will pay it because I see what happens with us. They pay the fees because they pay for quality. But you have to know the clientele. You have to know how to get them. You have to know how to get, uh, clear their cases. You have to give them what they want, what they pay for. Then, yes, they will pay those fees. They have no problem whether they have to get money from overseas or how, whatever reason. They will pay the fees. And our fees are probably some of the highest, if not the highest, in this business. 
And I'm not going to put our fees here because then the discount waiver companies will try to reverse engineer that and use it. So what I will say is we likely have the highest, no, no likely, we have the highest fees in this industry. That I know for a fact. Let's not pull any punches here. Let's not put any bullshit out. We have the highest fees in the industry. And there's a reason why. Because transparency, knowledge level, trust and honesty, and follow, I don't know how following up ties in, but those top three. And again, that's why we have a 100% success rate. The people who know us well, the referrals, they know we get it because we get their boys cleared, their uncles, blah, 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 cleared. So for them, it's no, no, no brainer. Some of you guys back east who give us a shout and you hear the fees, you say, well, that much? I said, sir, I got guys who pay five times this. I said, I don't. He said, oh, I said, yeah. And the thing is, like I said, these lawyers and discount waiver companies, they don't know how to find those people and they don't know how to provide the service those people are looking for. You think a guy who's moving 10 truckloads of white powder into the U.S. per day, or I'll go as far as say per week, per week, he doesn't give a flying flamingo with the fees. If someone has moved white powder into the U.S. in the past, he's left that industry, and now he uh, I don't know, owns a construction company or whatever, landscaping company, but his past still haunts him. That individual has no issue with the fees. I mean, it's common sense. That's just one example. Or some guy who was doing extortion, and then he left that industry. Or someone who was a collector, and he left that industry. They think they'll never get cleared. We tell them the fee, they pay it, and they're like, what the hell got class said told you? They and they're at the risk of tooting our own horn, they call us miracle workers, and we are. So had to brag a little bit there. Because the discount waiver companies and these lawyers, whatever, they don't know how to get this stuff done like we do. Again, Ken Scott, aka Saul Goodman, Ken Scott, senior. U.S. Immigration Law Intelligence Analyst with Triple W, U.S. Entry Waiver Services dot com, and it's 888-908-3841 or 604-562-8140. Another thing you guys can, especially women, you women can read a guy for the most part. You know a guy, if he's a, a bullshitter, or you know if a guy is straight up, you know if a guy is a thug, or if he's a sweet boy with tight pants, you women can read guys for the most part. So I invite you women to read me. Tell me what you think about me, what my personality is like, and let me know. I'll let you know how close you are. Am I a sweet boy who reads poetry to you? Or was I like that in the past, sweet boy who read poetry? Or was I uh, a different kind of boy, let's just say, on a, more on the bad side? I'll leave it at that. You girls, ladies, can just think and just imagine. So the way you ladies or you women can read uh, guys, you need to read your uh, waiver provider or um, tell your boyfriend about, yeah, such, 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 yeah, blah, 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 by him. That's what I think. Happens to us all the time. Happens to me. They come in and they read me. And I've had a few of my clients say to me, um, I know in the past what you are like. I was like, what do you mean? Like, yeah, I can tell you are bad. I say, girl, I say, hey, I, I'm innocent. I don't know what you're talking about. I say, yeah, mm-hmm. So anyway, I had to toss that in there. But when you guys, another thing I want to toss in there quickly, um, you come across these waiver providers who look desperate, no confidence, look like Sean Spicer. If you look up Sean Spicer, Trump's old, I think, press secretary. Ones who look like that, act like that, have no confidence. How are you going to put confidence in someone to do your uh, U.S. entry waiver case, especially a complex one, who don't, they don't have confidence within themselves? To me, that's just pure stupidity, but it's your call. Anyway, Ken Scott, senior. Oh, I did all that already. All right, guys. The walking colleague, live long and prosper. Why you should be denied entry to that country. So, if you're denied entry to the United States for criminality, you know, maybe you know, had a bar fight, or maybe. You accuse of, uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. 
You didn't do it. This is what you want to do. You may need a US entry waiver. You may or you may not. If you do, you want to use send it to Ken.com. Send it to Ken.com. And once you use send it to Ken.com, we can get you clear to enter the United States. Does not matter what your conviction is, whether it's for <laughs> or Nothing is matter. impossible. Why? Because we're there. You need us. Send it to Ken.com.